I'm Carmelita Greco. Welcome to Lose Art. In the beginning, God created. Aren't those beautiful words? Our God is a creator. If you ever wondered why mankind has this innate ability to create, a desire to build, and a desire to replicate the beauty in this world, it is a bond to our divine nature of mankind that links back to our Creator God. At Luz, we explore the mystery behind biblical scripture through the lens of devotional artists. The Bible is full of parables and mysteries that can be difficult to grasp without understanding. Walk with me and let's unpack the words of the prophets, the words of Jesus, and the miracle of the second coming of Christ. Our current exhibit here at Luzar is How Great Thou Art, highlighting artist Debbie Clark. Her paintings are inspired by transformative Bible verses, the beauty of God's creation and prophecy. Debbie became a Christian in December 2018 after a profound spiritual experience. She considers herself an ex-New Ager that uses her talents to translate her profound spiritual experience. She encountered a hope, a peace, and a joy in the ancient words of biblical text and further encountered the person of Jesus through a deeply heartfelt spiritual experience. I believe her heart has a touch of the divine. As we gaze into the paintings, they speak a profound message of hope, freedom, transformation, and mystery. Let's take a look. So one of my favorite paintings from the collection of works is Jesus and Nicodemus. And this is from John 3, where Nicodemus is asking Jesus, what does it mean to be born again? And she just beautifully captures this moment in time where she's bringing scripture to life. You see all the detail in the face of Nicodemus and the face of Jesus, and also this beautiful historical city in the background. Now, being born again or death to life and eternity are some of the key themes of the Gospels, of course, and as well as, well as in her work. And this next piece is called Forgiven. And it's just breathtaking again, where she's using the symbolism of, as the, the dove uh, touching the woman, the woman being part of this kind of dead or barren landscape. And as the, the dove representing the Holy Spirit touches her, she becomes alive. And the scripture Debbie references is, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, just the detail as you're up close, you see a teardrop as the woman is being touched by the Holy Spirit. And this, this next painting, again, it's, it's um, capturing a spiritual truth, uh, uh, again, from uh, John 5, 24, and it's about being alive in Christ. She's using butterflies, and it looks like poppies, and just the, the silhouette of, of Christ in the picture. And again, the, a transformative piece where you're showing a barren landscape and taking inspiration from Matthew 7, 7, about ask and it shall be given to you, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. So this feature painting is called Power and Glory by artist Debbie Clark, and it's taking inspirations from 1 Chronicles 29, 11. And it's just really showing the majesty of God. The lion is a common image that she puts in some of her paintings to really show God and his majesty. And this is just a beautiful example of that. She's a realist, so she everything has such amazing detail. Now the second uh, painting we're gonna talk about is In the Beginning, and this is based on Genesis 1. And just a beautiful moment where the sky and the waters separated and a little bit of light comes in. So it's just a very scenic painting. Um, if you saw it possibly in a museum, you may not even know that it's Genesis 1. You're just seeing this kind of beautiful image of the sky and the water, but she's capturing that moment where scripture says that the water separated from the sky. The uh, next painting is based on scripture, uh, John 2, 17, and the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. 
And so you have this kind of barren land, which is a common theme in her work. And you kind of see like a war-torn area and then the cross leading to a fruitful and vibrant area. Another theme in Debbie's paintings are, is good overcoming evil. She also uses nature and creation with the dove and the crow kind of representing those two opposing forces. And I love how beautifully the feathers of the dove are, are ruffled in the back. So there's a lot of expression in the animals and it's also her creation reflecting a nature of God and a nature of our struggle, spiritual struggle that we go through. So one of the key things that Debbie is so excellent at is translating scripture and also um, biblical prophecy. So she's one of the few artists that tackles biblical prophecy and sharing scriptures from the book of Revelation. And this is one of them, and it's the, the angels um, that are announcing the eternal gospel. And you see this, this landscape or this cityscape ultimately, which looks like a modern city. So she's capturing that moment that this would happen and prophecy would be revealed. This um, next painting is the Angel of the Harvest. And again, it's a prophetic scripture and she's capturing this beautiful angel, but it's a time in history where God is harvesting those souls from the earth and she's bringing us something that is spiritual into the physical realm. So she just has a really unique way of doing that. And she's also willing to kind of tackle these kind of scriptures that a lot of artists may shy away from. The Waiting on the Bridegroom is another piece. And this is from Revelation 3, 10 through 11, and it, it, which reads, because you have kept my commands to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole earth to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast to what you have that no one will take your crown. So this is a promise that Jesus is giving the church as the bridegroom and she has a female bride, but also in scripture, the males also are the bride of Christ. And there's also the, the oil that is highlighted in this painting and the oil represents the Holy Spirit. And there's a, a parable that Jesus shares about the 10 virgins and it's important to have oil in your lamp. So to be waiting, and so she's meditating on the fact that to be one that is waiting for the Lord's return. This other image here is from Hebrews 9.28, and this is also a prophecy about the return of Christ. And you see this really kind of cute English village, and uh, for those that don't know, Debbie lives in England, and so a lot of her artwork will reflect uh, the English countryside, the city, or some of these beautiful picturesque homes. And I love the way the light in this painting just peeks through the clouds, but there's also a deep spiritual meaning and truth behind the painting. And the, the final painting is, um, is Messiah, and she's taking inspiration from John 19, one through two. And it's really that point where Jesus was on his way to the cross, he had, uh, experienced you know, a, a brutal beating and it was his final walk towards the cross. And when, when you really look at this painting, uh, the eyes just really capture you because you can see in his eyes the reflection of the cross. And so it's something that you um, ultimately need to see in detail. Thank you for taking the time to review these works. For more information, go to lusart.com and we're located at 1640 Irving Boulevard in Dallas, Texas.